Do you want to add a personal touch to your car with a quick craft? Let's dive into sublimating neoprene car coasters. With just a little heat and your favorite design, you can turn these plain white coasters into something that reflects your unique style. Perfect for gifts or your own car, this project is both fun and functional. Stick around to see how you can transform ordinary into extraordinary in no time. Hey everyone, it's Lean from coloradolean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Let's dive right into this project by heading over to Canva where I'll show you how I set up a template to use with my Bing AI generated images. All right, so we are in Canva and this is the free version. And I'm just gonna do a really quick demonstration on how I set up my car coaster design. So we're gonna come over to create a design. We'll click custom size. I want to create a three by three inch square. And we will create that. And now I will come over to Elements. I will come to Frame. And I'm going to choose a round frame. Now to get it to the size I need, I will click on Position. I'm going to lock my ratio. And my car coasters are two and three quarter inches round. So I'm going to make these 2.8 inches. And then I'm going to center it in the middle. And there is my template. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. And I will lock this first one so it can't go anywhere or change it all. And then I will come over to my uploads file. So let's go ahead and choose this butterfly image and we'll just click it to bring it into the frame. Click down on our mouse, move it slightly, and there we have it. Now all we need to do is share this. So I will click download. I will select page two. I'm going to download this as a PNG file. So I will click done and download. And that is how I created my car coaster template. Now that we have our images printed, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our neoprene coasters. I purchased these off of Amazon and I will have the link for you down below. They are approximately two and three quarter inches wide and about a quarter of an inch thick. So these should be really nice coasters. Let's go ahead and get these images cut apart. I did print these on a sub sublimation paper with my Epson SureColor F170 sublimation printer. And I have two of each design because I'm going to be packaging these as sets. All right, let's save these for later because that's going to be a little more difficult to line up. So we'll go ahead and start with this one. And I will bring in my heat resistant tape. And the first thing I'm going to do is lint roll my coaster. Now I do need to be a little careful. I was working with glitter the other day. So I want to make sure not to have any on my design or my coaster. Um, because these coasters have little cutouts on them, I want to be cautious on where I place that on my design. Um, and I think I'm going to just place it down here at the bottom. 
and because I am making sets. I want to make sure that this cutout is in the same place on both designs. So I'm going to line this up, pardon my head, and I want to make sure that I can see a little bit of the design all the way around. And then I am going to tape my coaster into place. Okay, and then I will get it, the second one set up. I see a little bit of glitter on there. And there's glitter on the back too. <clears throat> when you work with glitter, that stuff is around for months. Okay, I have that lined up. All right, these two coasters are ready to go. When I checked the Amazon page to see what the company recommended for these coasters, um, there was quite a difference. Uh, the time and temperature suggestion for temperature, it went from 356 to 428 degrees and anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds. Not really helpful. So after watching a whole bunch of videos, um, it looks like the consensus is 385 degrees, maybe 400 and anywhere from 35 to 60 seconds. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with 385 degrees for 50 seconds. I'll do one coaster at that time. And then uh, depending on how that looks, I may put that up to 400 degrees for 50 seconds. We'll have to see how the, how the first one turns out. So I'm going to go ahead and switch things around and get my HTV Ron Auto heat press turned on. And I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so I am warming up my HTV Ront Auto Heat Press. I am going to 385 degrees for 50 seconds. And I have the auto button turned on so that as soon as I push the plate in, the top platen will come down and start the timer. So now we wait. All right, so we are up to temperature, 385 for 50 seconds. I'm going to put down a piece of butcher paper and I will take my first coaster, put another piece of butcher paper on top and let's see what happens. Okay, I am excited to see how this turns out. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, that could be an issue. I forgot to preheat my coasters and nothing happened. Oh, that is, that's interesting. Okay. Um, so let's just go ahead and preheat these two coasters real quick. Um, I have them face up. I will put a piece of butcher paper on and I will preheat this for 10 minutes, 10 seconds. Okay. Well, that flattened out that first coaster. Okay, so here's the thing. I didn't even have it in the press the correct way. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Okay, let's see if we can do this the correct way. I did preheat my coaster. 
I am putting it down on my butcher paper with the A sub sublimation paper on top like it's supposed to be. I have a second piece of butcher paper and now we will run it for 50 seconds at 385 degrees. All right, let's see if I did it right this time. <laughs> okay, so far it looks right. I can see an image on there. And let's just take it off and see what happens, if I can get it off. Ooh, that is pretty. Can you see that? That in frame. I'll definitely have close up pictures for you. Um, you know, I think 385 for 50 seconds is good. I might increase that to 55 seconds because there's still quite a bit of ink left on here. So let's just give that five more seconds. Okay, so I have my second coaster. I have a piece of butcher paper that is folded in half. So I will put it in coaster down, A sub sublimation paper up. And then I'm just going to fold this butcher paper over. And then we will run this for 385 degrees. And we'll try it for 55 seconds and see how that turns out. All right, let's take a look and see how that turned out. And that is just as pretty. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more coasters and then I will come back and we'll see what they all look like. All right. So we are back. If you recall, I sublimated these coasters at 385 degrees. I did my first one for 50 seconds and it came out beautiful. And I will have a uh, really good close-up pictures of these on the corresponding blog post. And then the second coaster I did at 385 degrees for 55 seconds. And it is just as beautiful. Let me grab a white card here. I'm really not sure if there's much of a difference on these. I think there might be just a little bit more color shading down here on this one, but just a tiny little bit. So that turned out great. I sublimated these coasters at 385 for 55 seconds. Um, the uh, wood grain came out a little too green for my taste. I'm going to have to compare that with uh, the actual picture. I don't like it, but you know, it's still pretty. And the amount of ink that came off of this print is just phenomenal to me. And then my last set of coasters that I will admit to turned out just as beautiful. Now, if I was a smart crafter, I would take out that whole little part where I put the coasters in upside down in the heat press, but I'm not going to do that because I did it again. <laughs> I, I have no idea what happened to my brain today, but I did this again. Um, and the only reason I have an offset image is because I did not take the time to take them off of the print, which had not been touched at all, let them cool down, put them back on the print when they had flattened out, 
and then put them back in the heat press the correct way. So I now have car coasters for my own car. So anyway, <laughs> my plan for these, probably not those, um, my plan for these coasters is to sell them at a craft bazaar at my sister's church in October. And when I bought these coasters, they came with bags and these little cards, car coasters handmade with love. Um, so let me just show you how I'm going to put these on here. Um, I am going to print off some uh, care cards for these that I will put in the back of the envelope. Um, I think what I'm going to do with this, though, I have a Mono Air permanent adhesive little tape runner. And I'm just going to try. And put a little bit of adhesive on there. There's not much, but it might be enough. And then I'm going to line this up on the bottom. Oh, there we go. And then I will line this one up on the top. Press that down. And then I want to make sure that the flap closes on the back. So I will slide it in this way. And there we go. That'll be a nice little package. Um, I'm not going to seal this one up right now because I don't have the care card in there. But that'll give you an idea. Ah, it is just so pretty. Well, thank you so much for joining me today for the good and the bad. <laughs> I appreciate you sticking around for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a great day. Bye.